Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to generalize the integral integral from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the n. Okay, before solid, I would like to say uh, the YouTube analytic uh, source, uh, my uh, audience also watch uh, Plumable Maths uh, YouTube channel. So, uh, I saw uh, the interesting generalization uh, published by uh, Plumable Maths uh, YouTube channel for this integral. Okay, now uh, I'm going to generalize this integral uh, by using two methods. So, first method I'm going to use uh, beta function. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to take a substitution. So, if we take x to the n is equal to u, now uh, differentiate. So, we know in x n minus 1 dx is equal to du now we can isolate the dx so dx is equal to 1 over n x to the 1 minus n du uh, so dx is equal to 1 over n now x we know u to the 1 over n so u to the 1 over n minus 1 du okay now uh, we can substitute here so we can write uh, limit uh, also 0 to infinity now dx we know 1 over n so 1 over n we can write outside of the integral sign u to the 1 over n minus 1 over here 1 plus x to the n we know u d u okay then we know this is uh, beta function integral so we know this is equal to beta of 1 over n uh, 1 minus 1 over n now we know the relation between beta function and gamma function so we can write this is equal to gamma of 1 over n gamma of 1 minus 1 over n over gamma of 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n we know get cancelled so gamma of 1 we know also this is equal to 1 now 1 over n now we know Euler's reflection formula so uh, this is equal to uh, pi over sine of pi over n so we can simplify pi over n times cosecant of pi over n okay this is the answer <coughs> then uh, i'm going to <coughs> generalize this integral also by using uh, ramon john's master theorem uh, so before solve the question uh, yesterday my friend uh, also asked uh, integral how to solve uh, this is the integral uh, integral from zero to infinity uh, dx over one plus x to the one plus square root of two raised to the 1 plus square root of 2 okay then uh, I have two questions uh, so how to kill uh, two words with uh, one stone so I'm going to define an integral I'm going to define an integral integral from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the n raised to the m power okay now uh, to evaluate this integral first i am going to define a function f of x f of x is equal to 1 plus x raised to the minus m now uh, using binomial theorem uh, we can write our f of, f of x as an infinite series so we know this is equal to k is equal 0 to infinity gamma of k plus m over gamma of m times minus x to the k over k factorial okay then uh, i think uh, this is familiar with us because uh, we know ramnujan's uh, master theorem so this is the theorem uh, if, uh, if if we have a function f of x uh, as a infinite series 0 to infinity uh, 5 of k over k factorial minus x to the k uh, then uh, melin transform of melin transform of f of x 
is equal to uh, we know integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 f of x dx and this is equal to gamma of s times phi of minus s okay then uh, this series now we have and we know this is same type of function so we can apply Raman Jans mass theorem so we can write uh, now Mellin transform of Mellin transform of uh, f of x Mellin transform of f of x here f of x uh, this uh, series and I'm going to define as a function g of x and we know now this is equal to here gamma of s so gamma of s uh, then here pi minus s so uh, pi minus s so here instead of k now we should plug in minus s so we have gamma of m minus s and here we have gamma of m gamma of m okay then uh, we know uh, this fact uh, Mellin transform of uh, x to the n Mellin transform of x to the n now uh, we know this is also equal to 1 over n here our function g so g of s over n g of s over n uh, therefore we can uh, take uh, Mellin transform of 1 plus x to the n raised to the minus m is equal to uh, we know integral representation 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 over 1 plus x raised to the n raised to the m power dx and uh, also we know uh, this is equal to uh, now Mellin transform of uh, x to the n 1 over n g s to the n and here also Mellin transform of f of x so we can write now this is equal to uh, 1 here 1 over n so 1 over n now g of s over n now we know uh, g of x uh, here now g of s over n we can write gamma of s over n uh, times gamma of m minus s over n over here gamma of m okay then um, if uh, if we take uh, s is equal to 1 so when s is equal to 1 our integral becomes 0 to infinity uh, here x to the 0 power so dx over 1 plus x raised to the m raised to the m is equal to now here we know uh, s is equal 1 so 1 over n gamma of 1 over n times gamma of uh, m minus 1 over n over gamma of m okay this is the generalization for uh, this integral here uh, so now we can evaluate this integral uh, now we need to 1 plus x to the n so uh, now easy step so we can plug in 1 for m so when m is equal to 1 we have 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the n is equal to 1 over n gamma of m we know 1 here gamma of 1 over n times gamma of 1 minus 1 over n now this is Euler's reflection formula so we have 1 over n cosecant of phi over n okay this is the generalization and uh, now I am going to tell you another interesting fact interesting integral uh, here if we uh, take integral from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the 10 power so uh, we can plug in values so we can write now this is equal to we you know 1 over 10 cosecant of 
pi over 10 we know the value of cosecant of pi over 10 so if we simplify this we have pi over 5 times pi here pi is golden ratio okay thank you for watching